Hi guys, welcome to Programming with Zen. If you are new to web development and want to learn the HTML, then this video will be helpful for you because in this video I am not only telling you about the tags but also showing you the result of the tag that how these tags perform in the web pages. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, if you don't know what is the HTML, HTML is a markup language, it is not a programming language. It is the basic scripting language used by web browsers to render pages on the www world wide web it is a scripting language which use the script to show the data on the website page so let's start the project here is the layout of the vs code first we need two extensions for this first is the live server to run our web page live and second is the auto rename tag it is the extension to make our tag autocomplete make the new file from the new file icon text.html i write the name you can make the name according to yourself and now let's start with the go live button when we click on this live server extension run and it will show the web page on your on the chrome side it is a live view of the page that what you have done in the uh, VS code it will show on the web page so first is the HTML tag for the HTML starting and then we write in the head tag head tag is used for the header information which we which is not display to the user but display from for the browser side let's suppose I write in the Zen and it is the title when I refresh the page you can see in the tab you, there is name updated to Zen Now start the next tag which is the body tag. Body tag is the tag where all the data show in the web page to the user who visit your website. Here is the tag for the h1. h1 is the heading tag, tag which is the largest tag in the heading sections. I write with programming with Zen. You can write your name or whatever you want to write in this. It will show as an heading. There are total 6 headings in the HTML tags h1 to h6 h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 6 these are the headings that you can use in the html tag then in the second is the p tag it is the most important tag which is used in the html to write any text or any description for this let i write how are you and this will show as a paragraph or the description that you can use to write data in your website let's if i write the address here is the address tag let's if i think write anything in it it will show as an in the address format automatically now the third tag is the p tag where i can write the phone number as the number that you want to write on the your resume or your cv and the fourth tag is the hr tag hr tag is the horizontal row tag it will add a horizontal line in the page and after this i can write the data or my skills that i want to add in the description section so i write the description and if you want to bold your description you can use the bold tag so b is the bold tag if anything written in this b tag will be bold After this, I use the lorem. It is the built-in feature. When you click lorem, it will paste the paragraph automatically by using VS Code extension. Now here is the tag which is mostly used is the UL. UL is the unordered list. Anything is written in this LA tag, LA for the list, and UL is the unordered list. Everything I written in this code will represent as a bullet like here i add the hc tag for my skill section to show that there are the skills that i have you can write anything in your skill i just adding for the demo now the second important tag is the ol it is also the order list but it is in the order form anything that you write in this ol tag will show as in counting in the start like if i write in hello this it will start in the count one two three so this is the difference between ul and ol list 
after the list tag there is the most important tag which is the h reference tag h reference tag is the tag which is used to add website links or any other links that you want to add in your website where the user can click and go to the next page of the specific url address for example here i write the google.com and it will show as an anchor tag in the whatever you write in the a tag it will show on the web page like you can see in the my website link it show as a blue when i click on that it will go to the google.com or any website that you paste link in the h reference attribute after the anchor tag the most important tag which is used is the image tag in the image there are two attributes first is the source where i can add image or you can add image and which will display on the browser side and i already paste the image in my folder you can also add the images in the folder and give path to there and second is the alt tag alt tag is when the image is not loaded it shows the error for example i remove the g from jpg and the image is not loaded as a message will be displayed there and the uh, most important part uh, tag is also is the br tag br tag is the break tag because in the html when you add enter there is no space count or no enter count in the html language so you need to add br tag for the break and then the most important tags which is the div tag and the span tag div tag is the block level tag it block level tag means it will take all the space from start to end and then there is a span tag span tag is an inline tag it is a tag which take only space that he needed or they required for example if i give you a hint if i copy the div tag and paste it again you can see that the how are you button or text is showing on the next line not on the same line even it don't take the full screen space but if i copy the span tag and paste it it will start from the same line because it is the inline tag and it only take that space that it is needed so here you can see more easily through the extension that that how are you in the div take the whole space from the page that showing in the display while the span tag only take those space that it is required and the next tag also starting from the next part in the same line in the last three tags which are most commonly used is the bold italic and underline tag sorry for you well it's simply u tag which add the underline in the text so these are the main tag which are mostly used in the development site are all the most of the time when you make up with i hope you like this video if you like this video kindly share this video to your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you